Let's design a set of bevel gears. In this video I'm going to show you how to use FreeCAD and the gear workbench to design this set of bevel gears. Here's how the finished gears are going to look like. So that's the basic construction sketch. I'm going to redo it so you can see how I do it. I'm going that's the side view. I'm going to do the radius and then the circle for the pinion 24 and 12. Now the top view, same thing. A circle and a radius 72 for the ring. To move that dimension out of the way, okay, 26. Okay, now the front view that's going to put the axis for the ring and the axis for the pinion, put dimension, make it vertical. Okay, that's the rectangle from the apex to the tangent point, and that's going to be the angles. That I'm going to use to create the gears. Okay, that's the basic sketch. Okay, I'm going to do a new sketch, new body, XY plane, that's going to be the front. I'm going to do a rectangle, 36 and 12. And then the diagonal, so I can get that angle reference again. I can save it, put it the name, that's going to be the ring. Now I'm going to do Two little lines, 2.5 because it's module times 1.5, 1.25. Make them square, and then I'm going to put two lines up there and two more lines. That's going to be the width of the of the teeth, 10 millimeters. And then two more lines there to the center to do the top and the bottom of the gear. So that's that profile. I'm going to rotate it. So that's going to be a tool to cut the gear. Now I'm going to do, do the gear, bevel gear. I'm going to 36 tooth, module 2, and then the angle I had on my sketch, 71 degree. Some. Okay, that's the gear and the tool. I'm going to do a boolean operation where I do a common. Takes a few seconds to process. Even if I'm four times the speed. So that's the gear I'm, I'm getting like this. That's not really what I want yet. So I'm, I need to redo. So let's have a closer look. The side of the teeth only have half of it. So I need to make it higher. So I'm going to double the size, so I'm adding those 12 millimeters on the bottom and make it 18 millimeters high and then trim it again. So I'm going to edit the gear. So I'm going to put module 4 and then I want to change the height to 18 millimeters. Okay, let's see. Okay, and then now because I make it higher, I need to move it down 12 millimeters. You can see the tool still sticking under there. So Z minus 12. Okay, so now I have my gear and my tool properly placed. And I'm going to redo the Boolean operation. Select the tool, add the gear, make a common. And now I have my gear, almost. I have the full teeth height. But I'm going to add a little bit of thickness to the bottom. So I'm going to edit the sketch, change that 2.5 to 4.5. And now I have the gear I wanted to get. I want to add some length to the ball of the ring. So I'm going to edit the sketch. So I'm adding those lines, then I trim what I don't need. 
put some dimensions okay one more for the height okay then delete that extra line and here is my final ring finished for the pinions we are a lot the same I have the 36 millimeter here they're here 12 millimeter here they're here that's going to be the sketch that I'm going to revolve for the tool to cut the pinion so revolve I have this tool I go to the gear workbench make a gear module 4 12 teeth and then the height 48 forgot the angle 18 point some change I have the gear selected make a boolean operation here's my pinion I'm going to do one more sketch here to help for the placement and do a line from the center to to the apex so this is going to be 12 millimeters and do the same on the pinion make a sketch xz okay switch to the pinion body and make a line 36 then I need to place it relative to the origin so it's going to be 36 okay so now I have my two pinion and the gear with the line I'm going to do a new document to import both the ring and the pinion create the body and bring the ring body copy paste it in the unnamed document I'm going to rename the ring I had to do an extra body to make it work open the pinion file copy the pinion and paste it in the unnamed document rename it so now I have both the ring and the pinion in the same document So I'm going to start placing the pinion, rotate it, it's going to be on the Y axis, and then move it to the right, 72, and then move it up 12 millimeters, so you can see the both lines are connecting to the apex I'm going to turn the ring a little bit so the teeth meshes ok that's it notice how the pitch circle lines are tangent to each other now I'm going to add a little bit of backlash that's exactly the same as the involute gear I'm going to do one divided by the number of teeth times 2 seems to be working pretty well and then for the pinion 1 divided by 24 looks good save and give it a name so that's my finished ring and pinion static assembly hope you like this video please like subscribe and i'll see you in next time thank you for watching bye